short king. Typically, people will use this phrase when they're talking about likable, confident, or successful men who are below average height. In the history of bodybuilding, there have been many of these short kings. Franco Colombo, Danny Padilla, Mohamed McAway, and Momo Benaziza, just to name a few. Now, although the term short king is a relatively new mainstream term in the bodybuilding world, these men were called giant killers because of how frequently they were able to defeat taller competitors. After the anabolic race of the 1990s, taller competitors weren't only matching shorter ones on full list more frequently, but bringing something that shorter competitors didn't. Freak factor. There was just something about looking at someone who is not only extremely muscular, but also tall, that's incredibly mesmerizing. This disparity became so great that the 202 and then the 212 division were eventually introduced. This allowed competitors who weren't able or willing to compete in the open a division that could allow them to optimize their talents as bodybuilders, which favored, you guessed it, shorter competitors. 